some of the essential tools for spoon carving I thought I would share with all of y'all. First things first, good pair of gloves. They don't have to be expensive. These guys have rubber on the end of them for a little bit of grip. They add a little bit of protection, but they save your hands from when you're gripping all of the tools for extended periods of time. So for me, just a cheap old pair of gloves. I think these guys were about five bucks. Next is a good axe. You don't need to spend money on an expensive axe. Any axe will do. You can go to the hardware store locally. You can pick up any old axe. You can start your journey there. This guy has been uh, basically upgraded over time. If you take it serious, you can spend the money. But for now, any axe will do. Saw. This is a folding saw, silky. Uh, I take it into the woods when I'm doing any kind of forging, small logs, and I use it when I'm making any kind of cuts for any kind of uh, spoon carving. I don't typically use it all the time, but I do use it the majority of the time. If you can, the final essentials are typically any kind of spoon carving knife. This one is specifically from the Moore Company. Um, again, not too expensive, roughly $40 online. Lastly is if you are able to, hook knife of any kind. It doesn't have to be expensive. There are cheaper hook knives online. This will get you started in order to get into spoons.